As there is time which remains to be improved this morning, I will offer a few remarks to the congregation. It yields solid satisfaction to hear men testify of the truth of the gospel. I would rather hear men tell their experience and testify that Joseph was a prophet of the Lord and that the Book of Mormon, the Bible, and other revelations of God are true and that they know it by the gift and power of God than hear any other kind of preaching that ever saluted my ears. Sermonizing, dividing and subdividing subjects, building up a fine superstructure calculated to fascinate the mind, coupled with the choicest eloquence of all the world, will produce no good to them. What is it that convinces man? It is the influence of the Almighty, enlightening the mind, giving instruction to the understanding. Which priesthood was restored through his prophet, Joseph, and without which no organization, no matter how well-intentioned, can operate without the sanction of deity? Of this great truth, there is no question. The Book of Mormon and Bible testify as to its veracity. Of this, you can be assured. Brother Eliezer, will you share your testimony with these good people? Much has been said today about the Book of Mormon and about the man, Joseph Smith. I can't tell you what to think or what to believe, but I can tell you what I believe. That is, I know. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I know that the Book of Mormon is true and that Joseph Smith is a prophet of the Lord. When I saw a man without eloquence or talent for public speaking, the Holy Ghost proceeding from that individual illuminated my understanding and light glory and immortality were before me. I was encircled by them, filled by them, and I knew for myself that the testimony of the man was true. My own judgments, natural endowments, and education bowed to this simple but mighty testimony. There sits the man who baptized me, Brother Eliezer Miller. His testimony filled my system with light and my soul with joy.
The world with all its wisdom, power, with all the glory and gilded show of its kings and potentates, sinks into perfect insignificance when compared to the simple, unadorned testimony of the servant of God.